Thursday was Canada Day, but many people were not in the mood to celebrate after a succession of tragic discoveries at former Indigenous children's residential schools. According to the BBC, a Every Child Matters march in Winnipeg finished with demonstrators toppling a statue of Queen Victoria erected in 1904 at the Manitoba Legislature. Protesters cheered as a massive statue of the Queen, who was Canada's head of state at the time treaties were negotiated with Indigenous peoples and the residential schools policy was implemented, was dragged down by ropes. Also fallen was a smaller statue of Queen Elizabeth II, Canada's current head of state, Hundreds of bodies have been discovered in unmarked graves on the grounds of defunct residential schools, where indigenous children were sent as part of a century-long strategy of forced assimilation. Many of the schools were run by the Catholic Church, and demonstrators on Thursday demanded an apology from church leaders as well as recognition of the school's policies as genocide by the Canadian government. People belittle it and say, oh, they died of TB, they died of measles, says Indigenous Lady Lucy Enson into the Winnipeg Free Press. In the first place, should the kids even be there, taken away from their families, their language, their culture? She said. Our souls are hungry, and we have to speak up. Catholic churches have also been targeted across the country, with several on Indigenous land being burned to the ground. According to the CBC, a century-old Catholic church in Alberta was torched on Wednesday, and authorities say a fire at a church in Yellowknife, Yukon Territory, on Thursday appears suspicious.